Hey everyone, I'm Megan Hughes. And I'm Shaq Smith. This is Tribe Time. Hope you enjoy. This week, the Future Business Leaders of America celebrated National FBLA Week. FBLA has 400,000 members nationwide, and each school's chapter celebrates by doing something to show their pride. Greensboro's FBLA wore their blue and gold shirts on Tuesday, professional dress on Wednesday, and had social on Thursday. When members were asked why they belong to FBLA, the answers seemed to agree that FBLA teaches many valuable lessons. I like FBLA because it teaches me subjects in school that aren't taught in school. I like FBLA because they help with colleges and they show you the future. I love being in FBLA because we get to go on lots of cool trips and I get to meet new friends that last a lifetime. FBLA is important to me because of all of the things we do to help the community. I like FBLA because it builds leaders and we need more leaders in our world. I like being in FBLA because it teaches you how to be professional, not only in the way you act, but also in the way you dress. I like FBLA because it teaches me how to interact with people at a professional level and puts me on the same level as they are. For the past 30 years, Mrs. Horsey, a Spanish and French teacher here at Washes, has taken students every other year on a trip abroad to places such as Costa Rica and Europe. This has many benefits to the students. Why do you find the trips beneficial? Well, it gives our language students the opportunity to go and see the culture that they're studying and actually live, live the culture for, for a week or two. It doesn't matter what trip I've been on, whether I've gone to, to Europe for three weeks with students or whether I've gone to Costa Rica, the, the experience always, always is, everybody's very excited to go. And they're all very active while they're there. And the response is always very positive. Hi, I'm Calissa. I'm Alyssa, and we went on the Costa Rica trip two years ago. The best part of going that we kind of experienced would probably be meeting all the new people we got to meet. We went to school and we got to hang out with little kids and we got to see how their culture is different from ours and it was really neat to be with them and hang out with them. Blue Ridge Fire and Rescue is looking for volunteers. Junior firefighters, if you're 14 or older and you want to make a difference in the lives of others and have adventures, contact Dev and Zick by putting your name and contact information in the box located in room 358. Hey, Hannah Kate, what are you doing? I'm putting my totem ticket on Instagram. Why in the world would you do that? If you get a totem ticket, put it on Instagram and Twitter and tag these things, and you'll get another one from me automatically. 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 Spring sports' first official day of practice is Monday, March 3rd. All students participating must have a physical form submitted to the athletic trainer. If you do not have a form, they can be located on the Walsh's athletic page on our school website. Here's Taylor with a quick highlight on our newest addition to Walsh's, Coach Marion. Enter a new era for Waynesboro football. Brendan Marion, former wide receiver for the University of Tulsa and former Miami Dolphin, is the new head coach of the Indian program. Not shy of a challenge, Marion has high expectations for the upcoming season. Um, as far as the team next year, my goal is obviously to win every game and win a championship and things like that, but definitely just to, to change the culture, expect to win, and uh, just do great things on and off the field. 
To achieve these expectations, Marion has instituted a strict training program that includes weightlifting, conditioning, and play review six days a week. Anyone who is interested in playing football next season should see Coach Marion after school. We wish the Indians the best of luck in the upcoming season. Sitting outside of Hershey Park Arena, where three of our Indian wrestlers are competing for districts. Let's go inside and take a look. Sophomores Ryan Neff and Austin Wise, as well as senior Kenny Truka, competed for districts last weekend. Truka and Wise went 1-2, and two. Neff went 0-2 oh at districts. Not exceeding to the next round of wrestling, but ending the season on a good note, here is Ryan, Austin, and Kenny live in the Tribe Time studio to give us their story. So how would you describe you guys' wrestling season this year? Um, it was fun. It was definitely a season that I'm going to remember being at my senior year. I think my season was better than last year, considering I made it to districts, even though I didn't have as many wins as last year. So uh, what are your goals for next year, Neff? Uh, my goal is to try and make it to states, or at least uh, do better at districts next year. I, I think I'm probably going to wrestle after high school. It's just I don't know where I want to go yet. The Indian wrestling team ended with a season record of 7-9. and nine. The Indians went 4-1 at Muhlenberg Duels, placed 7th at the Hub Cup Tournament, and took 7th at Sectionals Tournament. Great job this season, Indian wrestlers, and good luck for the seasons to come. Four students have recently qualified for the AAA District 3 Conference for High School Swimming which will be placed at Cumberland Valley on February 28th and March 1st. Swimmers had to rank in the top 32 to qualify for the district conference. The top eight will medal at the conference. The following qualified. Claire Coons, John Barr, Julia Rodriguez, and Evan Perkowski. This past Saturday, Wash's Color Guard competed at Tuscarora High School against nine other schools and won first place with a score of 69.875. Their show song this year is Cry by Alex Calise, and the show is about the different trials we all go through in life and how we can overcome them. The Guard would like to thank everyone who came out to support them and would like to invite everyone to come out this Saturday to South Hagerstown High School. It's not as easy as it looks, so come to the show and experience what it's like. What do you mean Color Guard's not easy? Well, if you think it's so easy, then try it for yourself. Hey guys, Shaq versus is back. In honor of Color Guard winning first place this past weekend, I'm here with Christina Dawson, and she's going to tell you what we're going to do. Okay, well I'm in the Color Guard for Waynesboro Senior High School, and I'm the first duet dancer. I'm on rifle line, and I'm on flag line. Now, okay, we're going to do some body warm-ups, then we're going to warm up on some rifle, then we're going to get some, to some tosses. All right, nice, let's do it. Well guys, as you can see, Color Guard is not as easy as it looks, but if you want to support them, you can this Saturday at South Hagerstown. I want to thank Christina. You did a very good job. Tuesday evening, Mrs. Emily Dickey, English teacher at the senior high, was recognized for becoming a Pennsylvania State semifinalist for Teacher of the Year. Also there to support her was her family. We wished her the best of luck in the upcoming rounds.